topics appertaining yeah. to. Right, look, a spring of fame's out, which saves us a real headache in analysing his chance. Good, with all due respect. This is a yes. nightmare to analyse. Yeah. Two is Austin Tinato and the Kieran Fallon. Three is Jama, Adri de Vries, and then four, elderly paradise. Christoph Sumi, or Super Sumi, five marching time, used to be with Michael Stapp, Paul Hannigan on board now with Doug Watson. Six, high twelve, Richard Mullen. Seven, Muck and Brass. And Tado Shea, and number eight is Novelty Seeker and Mikel Barcelona. Elderly Paradise behind Capital Attraction, who is um, horse who Tado Shea got everything right on out in front. Yeah, just to see what people think of Elderly Paradise today. On the one hand, he's bang in form and showed uh, that he's Macau form, where he's the highest rated horse, um, definitely held up well. Against it. But again, he, had, he chased the leader mm. and the winner round in perfect fractions. He couldn't have had a better trip. But it's a small field again, and he may well get exactly the same trip here again. I'm confused. I was confused in the last race. I'm even more confused here. I really want to like this horse. Yes. I have to say that there don't seem to be any horses really. Uh, Barbecue Eddie could be the exception, but there aren't many horses showing. Amazing improvement at the carnival yet, are there? Not really. There's none of these sort of real go forward horses. No, there aren't. Forward yards, is there? No, there isn't. It, it's hard to know where we are with these trainers. Mm. I think I've lost my way. The likes of Doug Watson and Satish Seymour, who have always been sort of, in, to my mind, over, under. Yeah. to my mind, overtaken by the sort of Ali Al Rais of this world, and now having plenty of winners again. Yeah. There is what a great sight. Fact to see. One of, one of the two of Novelty Seeker and Elderly Paradise leading mm -hmm. and the rest of them sort of so we were expecting a steadily run race here up to a mile and a quarter for Elderly, elderly Paradise mm. shouldn't be a problem I don't think no I wouldn't just yeah I thought you'd be with Elderly Paradise really but Racing, Ostinado was on his back legs when the gates came open. He was last to leave the machine, and Muck and Brass is not showing a great deal of pace. I-12 won the start. Elderly Paradise going forward. Marching time is third. Jam of fourth on the rail. A length and a half to Novelty Seeker. Then Ostinato, who's now moving up one deep and relegating Muck and Brass to the tail of the field. 1,600 metres left to run, and Macau's Elderly Paradise has taken the lead by two lengths. High 12 second, and the first 400, a stroll, 28.6. Elderly Paradise to the back by three quarters of a length. Ostinato has come from last to whip around the outside and move to the hind quarters of the leader. High 12's a length away third, tucked in on the rail. Marching time, a half length away fourth. One to Jammer on the fence, a half to Novelty Seeker, and a length and a half to Muck and Brass as they continue down the back. 800 metres in 55.3. Little change in the order. Christoph and Elderly Paradise showing the way. Going past the 1,000 metres pole, they're a neck in front. Ostinato strides closer, and Ardre's gone looking for the lead now on Ostinato, who pulls three quarters of a length clear at the 800 metres peg. Elderly Paradise on the fence, a length away marching time. Three quarters to high 12, three quarters to Novelty Seeker. The same to Jammer and Muck and Brass whip them in. 1,200 metres in 119.69. They'll have to sprint for home. Elderly Paradise has the inside. We're short of 500 to run. Coming onto the turn. Ostinado being rowed along. Marching time three deep. Novelty Seeker four wide. Then high 12 and two lengths away is Jammer with Muck and Brass to the outside. Elderly Paradise found. He found two lengths. Over high 12 into the clear. Novelty Seeker's on the outside. But the island can start cheering. Elderly Paradise is clear with 50 metres left to go and Elderly Paradise is too good. Elderly Paradise first, Jammer second, Height 12 third then Novelty Seeker, Muck and Brass Ostinato and Marching Time Well he's ridden them to sleep Sumion, quite simply on Elderly Paradise, he's dictated really steady fractions, held his position on the inside and then kicked turning in and uh, those that were held up in behind him uh, couldn't get anywhere near him and I'm afraid Barcelona had a shocker on novelty set. He, he's a world class jockey, Sumion, and Barcelona just isn't at the moment. Probably will be one day, but isn't at the moment. And you couldn't have 
this horse was basically just given the race elderly paradise there were only two conceivable front runners in what had to be a slowly run race and the jockey the one of them took no doubt under instructions yeah, yeah. but took him back to second last mm. and that left it to be a walk in the park for elderly paradise he's having to run a furlong four lengths quicker to keep up the horse loses a length for every 180 degrees it it um, travels on a one mile on a one, well, a one mile round course so in this case um, it's slightly less than that because it's a bigger course than that but still it's an extreme loss of, of energy for a horse trying to do that and you need it to be able to do it successfully as last week we saw that last week in the guineas didn't we a horse needs a class edge he needs to be able they to they need to be able to do that they need an edge yeah. if, if they're equally matched then then such a trip is absolutely detrimental to their chance and this horse the Macau horse elderly paradise absolutely slashed up on the day he does yeah. there he's coming back in on elderly paradise you wanted to be with him James you couldn't quite bring yourself to be I didn't have a strong view in that race. No, I didn't. didn't. No, it was, it was, um, I do think that I do think Novelty Seeker would have been closer with a, you know, you, you, a better ride. But you, you've got. I think you know. You've got to evaluate race. in a race like that. Yes, you can. You can say one, certain horses are more likely to win than others. But can you make a clear judgment better than the market in a race like that? Well, if you back the winner, you probably think you can. Well, but it? it was one frame and a better running, wasn't it? When you knew yes. that he knew that he'd got. And the in-running odds the would have reflected that, yeah, wouldn't they? They, they would have reflected that if they could. Um, but the winner had, him, by halfway, the winner had a much better chance of winning the race than he did on paper beforehand. Yeah. Considerably better. So there we go. Simeon hops off. And he's won the third on Elderly Paradise. The Macau, one for the Macau boys. From the Christophe Simeon, Elderly Paradise. Let's hear from him now. Here's our winning rider, Christoph Simeon. Christoph, week three, your first winners. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, we doesn't have a lot of runners for Mike at the moment, so I have to take uh, my patience and have some good rides like today. Yeah. MC Tem is a, a trainer I don't know for a long time. I made my first winner for him in, in Macau 12 years ago. I didn't ride a lot since for him, but today it was very good because it's a big win for him here in, yeah. in uh, Dubai. It's a great win for him, and this horse, pretty versatile. You were headed for a while, but it didn't worry him. He fought back well. Uh, I saw on his last run, uh, it was a bit, it was a bit one pace on a mile, so I just want to make him run, make the running. When Kieran was coming in the back straight, I just let him go. The horse was very comfortable, and when I asked him to go, he just gave me everything. Okay, well done. We'll treat you again this year.